This video is sponsored by Bedtime Digital Games, who want to showcase their adventure game Figment, which is out now on iPhone, iPad, and coming soon to Apple TV. More info at the end of the video. Apple TV has gotten a huge gaming boost in 2019 with the release of Apple Arcade and expanded controller support with Xbox One and PS4 controller support. There are also more gamers playing on this system than ever before. So because of this, I want to share 10 of my favorite games on the system. These games are supported on Apple TV 4K and Apple TV HD. Number 10, we have Tabletop Racing World Tour. There are not many kart racing games on Apple TV, but Tabletop Racing World Tour makes up for this. It's been brought to Apple TV by PlayRise Digital. This new game has split screen support for two players with two compatible controllers, eight player online multiplayer, great offline modes, 32 tracks, 16 miniature racing cars, and heaps of power-ups to collect and use. I've been told by PlayRise Digital that their game runs at 60 frames per second and supports up to 4K resolution on Apple TV 4K. So it goes without saying, it looks fantastic. Tabletop Racing World Tour goes for $4.99 USD on the App Store. Number 9 is Cat Quest 2. Here we have my favorite couch co-op game for my Apple TV. You and a friend can play using two compatible controllers. If you haven't played this game yet, it's a 2D open world action RPG that shows the tale of cats and dogs. The combat is really deep and can be quite challenging at times, so it requires a great amount of teamwork to get past boss battles. If you don't have a friend to play with, don't worry, the other player will be controlled by the AI and you can switch between characters in real time. Cat Quest 2 on Apple TV plays at a higher resolution up to 4K on the Apple TV 4K and a smooth frame rate of 60. The world looks stunning from lush green to browny yellow landscapes and flora. Cat Quest 2 is available to download if you subscribe to Apple Arcade. Number eight, we have Hovercraft Getaway. Here we have a free to play vehicle combat game brought to you by High Score Hero. Players have to try and escape from the cops for as long as possible. The longer you survive, the more stars you'll get and the more coppers will come after you. Players can build their own hovercraft with different attachments, but you can also unlock a range of different vehicles too. The game has a real-time damage system, so when you take hits, it will affect your vehicle's systems. It's completely playable with either a game controller or with just the Siri remote. With the Siri remote, you can just tap left or right on the touch surface to move and the same kind of applies with the controller. You use the left analog stick to move around. Number seven is Stay. Are you there? Stay is an interactive story that follows Quinn. He wakes up alone in a locked room with nothing but a computer connected to a chat room. You are the person on the other end, chatting with Quinn. You must help him try to escape, or you may lead him to his untimely death. The game mostly is centered around the chat room, so you'll be doing a lot of reading and making choices. So if that's not what you're into, do keep that in mind, guys. It, it can be quite slow, but the atmosphere and music are really dark, and the dialogue is well written. You can also play with either the Siri remote or a controller in hand. Stay, are you there? Costs $4.99 USD on the App Store. Number six, we have Snakebird Primer. Okay, stay with me guys. I know this game looks childish, but actually it's a puzzle game that Numenon Games have designed for everyone young and old to enjoy. 
you control a snake bird in each level and you can eat fruit to grow. Once you eat all the fruit, you can then attempt to reach the rainbow, which finishes the level. In later levels, you have to control and switch between different snake birds to solve the puzzles. It's completely playable with either the Siri remote or a controller. Look, it is a little expensive in my eye, $7.99 USD, but it does give you heaps of levels to unlock and play through and solving the puzzles can be quite complex. This means you won't finish the game too quickly. Number five is the Bradwell Conspiracy. If you're looking for a first-person puzzle game, something similar to The Witness or Portal, I suppose, well this game is a perfect fit for you. At the start of the game, a big explosion happens and you fall into a hidden underground complex. From here, you have to work together with a woman and solve puzzles to escape. Your character lost the ability to speak in the explosion, so to talk with this woman, you'll send photos and she will reply, usually to provide clues. There is also a really good cast of actors here, and the graphics are fairly decent. I'd say the game looks and plays best on the Apple TV 4K compared to an iPhone or iPad. To download the Bradwell Conspiracy, you'll need to subscribe to Apple Arcade. The door? No problem, I can do that for you. Number four, we have Wonderboy, The Dragon's Trap. Recently, Apple awarded this game Apple TV Game of the Year. Personally, it's not my favorite Apple TV game of 2019, but it does still do some very interesting things. This is actually a reboot of the original 80s game, Wonderboy, and is developed by Lizard Cube with assistance from series creator. It comes with new graphics and a new soundtrack. You can actually switch back to the old style graphics and music in real time. It's super cool. But what's the game about? Well, it tells a story where the adventurer you pick at the start of the game, which is either a boy or a girl, is cursed into a half human, half lizard monster. And then you go in the search for a cure. There are lots of worlds to discover, different enemy types, and difficulty options to select. This game goes for $7.99 USD on the App Store. Number three is Rush Rally 3. Rush Rally 3 has the quality of a console rally experience, which could be compared to Dirt Rally, I suppose, but obviously with not as advanced visual fidelity. It even plays at 60 frames and supports up to 4K resolution on Apple TV 4K. Players can go into classic offline modes or engage in online or local Wi-Fi multiplayer. And recently the game has been updated with real-time live events, where each week you can go into races against other players. Brown Monster Limited have even made the game playable with just the Siri remote, and it utilizes the gyroscope in order to turn left or right. It's playable like this, but for the best experience, definitely use a controller. Rush Rally 3 goes for $3.99 USD on the App Store. Number two, we have Oceanhorn 2. This action adventure game definitely shows the high-end gaming potential offered by the Apple TV. It was initially confirmed as coming to Apple TV way back in 2017. Then in 2019, Corn Fox and Brothers announced that it would be a part of Apple Arcade. It's a big game with 15 plus hours of gameplay, massive boss fights, side quests to go on, powers to unlock, puzzles to solve, and lots of people to meet. It's best played on the Apple TV 4K model because of the Apple A10X Fusion chip in that machine. The Apple TV HD has an Apple A8 chip, which means Corn Fox had to lower the resolution quite a bit in order for it to be playable. But yeah, probably the most high-end game available on Apple TV to date.
Number one, we have Dead Cells. So, this is my favorite Apple TV game of 2019. It's just so freaking fantastic. Playdigis have previously brought other games to Apple TV, such as Teslagrad and Evoland 2. So, I hoped that they would port this Roguevania game, Dead Cells, to Apple TV. And, well, here, here we are, it's here. I was also a little apprehensive on how it would perform, being a very fast-paced game, but it manages to keep a solid 60 frames throughout the gameplay. It's also so much better on the Apple TV compared to on a touchscreen, mainly because you have to use a controller to play. I always found the touchscreen controls was a tad awkward, especially later on in boss fights. Anyway, Dead Souls goes for $8.99 USD on the App Store, and trust me, you don't want to skip this one. And here is a bonus upcoming Apple TV game, which is Figment, the sponsor for this video. So Figment recently arrived on iPhone and iPad, with the Apple TV version to come in the near future. The game takes place in the human mind, and is a representation of human imagination and dreams. The story starts out where recent experiences have let out nightmares or traumatic experiences in physical form. Players can expect to see puzzle adventure elements, musical boss fights with their own songs, a hand-drawn surreal art style, and lots of puns. If you're interested in the game, you can download it from the link in the video description. The first two chapters are free on the iOS and iPadOS App Store too, so this is a good way to give Figment a try to see if you'll enjoy it. Anyway, big thank you to Bedtime Digital Games for sponsoring the video, I do appreciate it. I had a blast playing your game first on my Mac back in 2018, and it's great to see how you translated it for touchscreens. I'm really excited though to get my hands on the Apple TV version, I can't wait. What Apple TV games have you been playing in 2019? Also, do let me know if you've only started gaming on this system because of Apple Arcade. Anyway, leave a like if you found the video helpful, and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future uploads. Anyway, thanks for watching.